Good morning, bro. This is my friend Trasa, and today we're going to talk about identity shifts and how to how to change who you are right now and become the type of person that you want to become, whatever that may be. And we're going to give examples from our own personal lives where we have changed our identity and shifted our beliefs and what we do in order to become the people that we have become today. Now, we're nowhere near the finish line. We still have a long way to go, both of us individually. And like we both know that we have things to work on, as every human should always have, because whatever is not growing is dying. So with that in mind, let's talk <laughs> about identity shifts. So what do you think would be the biggest example you could give from your personal life of where you're, you had an identity shift? Oh, jeepers, that's a big question. Mm. Probably identifying as someone with a healthy, fit body. Okay. Yeah, Sweet. that's been the biggest one, probably. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so give what us a... Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that's cool. I, I'm, to be honest, I'm the exact same as that. Like, I used to be a fat fuck, and now I'm in, I'm in, I'm in decent shape. I'm nowhere near where I actually want to be, but I've come a long way, and I'm proud of the progress I've made. But yeah, um, it's funny because... I've gone through like every fad diet, every like, oh, this is the type of cardio you need to do to lose your love handles. Like I've gone through all of that shit. I've tried out every, I've tried out every trend. I've tried out like all the fucking, well, I haven't tried weight loss pills or anything, any shit like that. Cause it's like, they obviously don't work, but I've tried essentially <laughs> everything under the planet apart from actually changing who I am and my identity. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So what in your case, give me a bit of, of context about okay. where you were starting from. What was your starting point? Oh God, my starting point. Yikes. Yeah. Well, because I have scoliosis, my like body literally hurt the whole time mm -hmm. and I'm still getting out of that and everything. But, yeah. but also physically, just physically looking at how like, on, I just did not want to look this way. Okay. Like not not just to do with the scoliosis, but yeah. also just like body fat wise and mm -hmm. everything like that. Like mm -hmm. I just completely hated everything about how I looked. Okay. And what the next and felt. And felt. Okay, sweet. And what in terms of the next question, what do you think I know you said about the scoliosis and obviously that is something that you can't really couldn't you couldn't really control at the time mm -hmm. now you've overcome that up to a great extent yeah. thank god but um in terms of what you said about body fat yeah. where what had gotten you what were the actions you were taking that had yes. gotten you to the place where you were like i fucking hate the way yeah. i look yeah where where was the disconnect what were the actions that were like making you disimprove or what's what's the opposite yeah. of improve get worse i suppose yeah, what, what were yeah. the actions you were that taking just kept me stuck yeah that kept just you stuck feeling like crap mm. and feeling like i hate my body mm -hmm. um eating shit food yeah is number one simple as that yeah, like, yeah yeah just eating packets of biscuits and like massive bars and chocolate bars of chocolates yeah, yeah, tubs yeah, yeah. of ice cream anything like what's your what's your carby. favorite type of ice cream <laughs> Oh, Ben and Jerry's, of course. Nice, Come nice, on. nice. Okay, sweet. Um, so it was the unhealthy food. Yeah, yeah. And just the sedentary lifestyle. Okay. Like literally just lying on the bed, scrolling through YouTube or Instagram yeah, 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 yeah. or something. Okay, like, okay. Like that will make you hate yourself so quick. Facts. Like those two Facts. things together. That's, that's just like... That's the worst of the worst. Yeah. Is the like the unmotivation to get better and the lack of discipline to want to get better yeah kind of yeah yeah to put it in these new modern day time yeah. phrases and shit like that but also like so intensely feeling the frustration of wanting to get better mm. and like wanting to experience the opposite like that with that is oh, way worse it's so you it's such be, a you can be so blissfully ignorant mm. if you're like if you're happy, if you're genuinely happy with what you're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. and you do not feel any desire to change and you're perfectly satisfied with who you are and everything. Mm -hmm. But when you're not and you know you have more in you to change yeah. and to be that person or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, it's that feeling of, oh my God, that is so far out of reach for me. 
Okay, like, okay. that's like impossible. Like I yeah. just cannot identify with that at all. So in a way, it was kind of like paralysis by analysis. Kind of, yeah. And yeah. like the the comparison that you the comparisons that you were yes. making were keeping you stuck. Uh, yeah, that's kind of, yeah. I guess yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. could okay. say that as well. Okay, okay. So the topic of this video, just to reiterate it in our own minds, because I, to be honest, I forgot what it was there for a second, <laughs> is identity shifts and. It, we're talking right now about how to change your identity so that you become, it's essentially how you go from being fat to being fit. Um, is you need an identity shift. And so you've, you've spoken about how you got to the place where you were overweight and you were unhappy with mm -hmm. your body. And I, I wasn't overweight, but I was, you were just unhappy. I with was your... skinny fat and just very unhappy. with. Okay. Body. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. You were, you were on the skinny fat side yes, and you just yeah. didn't enjoy your own yeah. existence, essentially, yeah. 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 Okay, well, I was, for me personally, I'll just give a bit of context about how I got to the place where I was. I was overweight, I wasn't like, I, w I was also skinny fat. I mean, when you're, when you're overweight, you're also kind of skinny fat, but I was overweight and I was kind of like fat, like just genuinely fat. And I essentially got to the same point as you, by doing the same actions as you well like i got i got probably further past the point you were at where you were just kind of skinny fat whereas i was fat fat um and i got there by just probably more like more unhealthy food and more like not to one up you or anything but like i had more <laughs> I, I had more unhealthy food and i had more of a, a sedentary lifestyle probably well, i mean we, we don't know for sure and also genetics and, and also genetics too, of like, course yeah, yeah of course and it was like a pit of despair when you are, you have the want and you have the desire to be like that Instagram model you follow or be like, be in top tip, tip top shape or whatever, but yet you don't have the kind of the right identity to become mm. that person yeah. from fat to fit. And that is what we're talking about in this video is the identity shift and how you can, you, the watcher, the viewer right now, what, like literally you're looking in my eyes and I'm looking in yours, like make sure you are watching this video. <laughs> Look at her eyes, okay? No, what we're talking about is how you, the fat fuck who's watching this video, because I know you're fat, like you're at least skinny fat. And bro, like that's not a good place to be, but also you can get better. Like you, you if you watch to the end of this video, you will have the tools to become the fit person if you're fat right now. So make sure you stick around and press subscribe as well because you know, who doesn't love a good subscriber? But yeah, so we're gonna talk about what an identity shift actually is and how to obtain that identity that you first of all want, but second of all need. Like, let me be clear, this isn't just some like cute little productivity hack, like Ali Abdal type shit. This is something that you actually need to get fit and stay fit. Because if you just used like the ketogenic diet for four months and you go from like, I don't know, 16 stone to 10 stone, yeah, sure, that's impressive, but you won't keep that weight off because you have not become, you have not had an identity shift from a fat person to a, a skinny person or a, a fit person or whatever. So let's talk about identity and let's talk about developing and fostering a mind state and a state of being where you are a fit person. And I think, I think it's funny because it's almost like you're bullshitting yourself. For me, it was anyways, I don't know, oh, if, yeah. I don't know if it was for you, but for me, like personally, I had to bullshit myself where I was like, yeah, no, I am a fit person. Like I literally am fit. Like I, yeah. I look in the mirror and although I oh, see, I was proper delusional about it. Yeah, like, oh, you I have was to be. Like, I have to. <laughs> it's like I, I literally have a video titled. Uh, what was it titled again? It was like delusional optimism is the baseline of success. Oh, yeah. And bro, that is that exact. So that is the exact yeah. fucking same thing as what we're talking in this video. You have to look at yourself in the mirror, and even though you have fat rolls, you have to start conditioning yourself to believe that you are. That ripped. you have a six pack. You have a six pack, and the truth is, bro. Let me be clear. The truth fucking is, you do have a six pack underneath all that fat. And the question isn't like, it's not a question of oh well, am I am I just kind of 
conning myself or kidding myself because I'm telling myself I have a six pack when in reality I don't. It's not about that. It's about knowing that you can reach that place mm. and you have to develop the mindset and the identity, as we said, to get to that place. So talk to me about identity for you and like mm. what were, if you can think back off the top of your head, what were the steps and what were the like, what was the process? What did the process look like for you from becoming, from being like a skinny fat, unhealthy, kind of just not proud of the way you looked to the pl mm. place where you are today, where you're a lot more happy in your skin and you're a lot more confident and mm. glowing and all that kind of thing. So number one, really being delusional about it. Okay. <laughs> like, no, seriously. Yeah, like, yeah for sure, for that sure. That gets you so far. For sure, for sure. But then you then taking action, mm. like big, with yeah. that delusion. That's the big part of it. That's the big That's part like of it. kind of the key, isn't that is, it? That is the... Being delusional and then taking action. Taking... It's, with the... With the with the delusionality? Is that a word? Delusionality, delusionality is Delusion? a word. That's delusionality? Delusionality <laughs> is... I literally read that in the dictionary before, so yeah, spot on. Um, yeah, that is... That's, that's like the recipe. That's the essence. That's, that is, yeah, that's yeah. the core of it. That's the essence, yeah. That yeah. is the core of it, is delusion. Like, fucking... It, like, it is... I am telling you right now, it is fucking delusional to look at yourself in the mirror with big fat rolls and big love handles and tell yourself that you're ripped and you have a six pack but that is what you have to do mm. because by doing that by conditioning your brain and like making yourself believe that you are fit you will therefore start to think about okay because i've conditioned myself and made myself believe so much that i am a fit healthy strong person your your brain has the power to start like realizing that okay, if I want to uphold this belief that I have in myself where I'm, I'm fit, even though mm -hmm. I'm actually fat, your brain will start to think of all the things that you actually have to do to make that yeah. delusion a reality. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose that's where the action comes in. Yeah. Like, that's where you have... It'll the... kind of be like inspired action a lot of the yeah. time. It won't be from a place of like... Well, for me anyways, mm. it wasn't from a place of oh, I'm doing this wrong and this and this and mm. this and I feel terrible about myself so I'm going to drink this fucking skinny tea or some stupid some shit Some fucking like that. bullshit. I'm like, gonna... it wasn't really like that. It was more like, oh, okay, now because I'm a fit person now, I'm going to go to the gym and do... Mm. And you might, like, go to the gym and do, like, five squats and go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's oh, kind of like that. Literally, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to share a, little, a quick little anecdote from my own personal gym experience. And... This is the God's honest truth. When I first started in the, started consistently going to the gym, maybe, I think it's actually almost exactly two years ago now, there were days in the first like month where I swear to God, all I did was drive to the gym, walk in, piss in the toilet, obviously, and I left again. <laughs> really? Genuinely. Wow. Like, honest to god and uh, like i've seen wow. other people say that online and like so i yeah, i don't yeah. i don't mean to I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that from the point of view where i'm like i'm just trying to no, say what other real, people like, have said that is genuinely yeah, what i have yeah, done in the yeah. past and then like that has progressed to now it's like i go to the gym and i'm two hours deep in a work session and i'm like oh i could do another four sets of this exercise but i probably should get home and i probably should go about the rest of my fucking life and bro that's not just like i didn't just like become randomly inspired to do like mm. nearly three hour sessions yeah, in the gym it's it's a result of the fucking delusion first of all and the like inspired action yeah, as like you taking said taking small risks when like when that kind of impulse comes up in you exactly taking the small like the small step of even just getting into your car with the intention of driving to the yeah, gym you might yeah. even end up like just doing a circle around the estate you live in and not even actually yeah. go to the gym but the truth is that is a part of building your identity is the the kind of like it's almost like I think James Clear talked about that oh, in Atomic, Atomic Habits, Habits yeah, where he yeah. was like, the identity shift you need isn't really going to the gym and doing a long workout and like being a gruesome fucking leg yeah. day. It's actually about leaving your runners at the end of the bed mm. before you go to sleep 
so that you're more likely and more kind of inspired to go to the gym the next morning or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's the inspired action is like, even just taking that action, you're setting yourself on the right path. Yeah. And I suppose that's where a bottleneck shows up though. What's a bottleneck? A bo- when I say a bottleneck is like people who do that but also they are fooling themselves or they're they're kind of like well if I leave my shoes out they have the expectation I suppose that's the, the bottleneck is the expectation and then like so they expect just because they let their shoes out that they're going to wake up tomorrow morning and they're going to go they're to gonna, the yeah they're going to want to go to the gym yeah. the truth is let me tell you yeah. the harsh truth right now you're going to look at your shoes and say, yeah, no, I don't like the color of those shoes. I'm not wearing them. And you're not going to end up going to the gym. But <laughs> the important realization is that is a potential bottleneck where you have too much expectation of yourself when you're just at the beginning stage of changing from being the fat person, the identity of a fat person who doesn't like the identity of a fat person is someone who doesn't go to the gym, who eats unhealthily, who does all the like unhealthy stuff. That is the bottleneck, is the expectation where you think that you're going to wake up suddenly inspired, but the chances are you're not. So you have to repeat the process, even on the days where you're like, all you do is drive to the gym and walk in and go to the toilet and Mm -hmm. leave. That is still progress. Yeah. Because if you think about you for the last probably 18 years of your life, probably never stepped foot in a gym. Mm-hmm. or you've gone in just because it was part of like you had to go for PE class in, in school or some shit like that so the point of it is is that don't have too much expectation of yourself have enough where you're like okay I am going to suck it up and I am going to at least fucking try do one set of squats or five squats as you said and whatever but also like don't have so much expectation that everything is going to go smoothly the perf- and yeah, perfectly the first time. Because that will keep you debilitated. That keeps stop. you debilitated. It, it, it'll just keep, it'll keep you make, like, remind, it, in fact, it'll serve as too much of a big reminder mm. of how you're definitely not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> Do you know it's, what I mean? It's like, essentially, welcoming paralysis by analysis. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's too much. It's too, it's much. too much. It's too much, yeah, yeah it is. yeah. So the best way, that's the best thing about being delusional about it, Mm. because you're basically like eliminating all the negative feelings that you feel about, Mm -hmm. like getting fit and thinking, oh, you need to do 100 kg squats right off the bat. But if you go and you just assume that like you're going to do, okay, you're going to do five squats or whatever. Yeah. And, but also you're delusional to the point where you're like, yeah, this will grow my legs. Yeah. That's kind of like. That's the identity shift. Like that yeah, is the, that's kind of the identity yeah. shift. Yeah. Because the worst is just getting stuck in like really feeling terrible about mm. where you are, I think. Because then you won't even, you, you're, you're not in the identity of someone who feels good about going to the gym. Mm-hmm. For that reason, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, probably yeah. good enough. Facts, right? facts, facts, facts. But if you're if you're identified with the person who feels good about going to the gym and you do five squats, well, you're still further ahead mm. than the person who feels terrible about themselves. And yeah. Who won't, even, who won't even get in the gym. Who, the yeah, day. yeah, yeah. It's so true. That's the delusional part is like, yeah, that's a great way of putting it. You, do you know you've, what I mean? You've... you've, you've illustrated that very very well there that was very good i like that um yeah that's that is very very true um yeah okay so moving forward so we've talked about like how you we've talked about the first step which is the delusion and the the kind of like convincing yourself that going to the gym and doing five squats is enough and it is for right now it is enough because if you go in with too much expectation, your identity won't <clears throat> your identity won't end up getting changed. You will just end up paralyzed and you will end up debilitated because you see all these other guys who are doing like 120 kg fucking bench press and shit like that, and you feel like, well, I'm roughly the same age as them, and I'm roughly the same background, and roughly all this all these comparison factors, 
you think you shouldn't be doing that. But the truth is, bro, they're living their own life and you're living your life. And it's not about comparing yourself to them. Mm -hmm. It's about how can you progress right now? Mm -hmm. Like what is, it's almost in a way, it's almost kind of like, it's so paradoxical. It's almost kind of like, what is the minimum that I can progress? Mm -hmm. But also what is the maximum? Because your minimum is also your maximum in a way. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, it's kind of like the slower you go, the faster. It's the turtle wins, or, or what's or, that? Or something. The, yeah, the, tur the, the turtle <laughs> wins the race. The turtle, the turtle wins the race, or some shit like that. Yeah. It's it, not the hair, it's the turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a saying, there is a saying to go along with it. No? What the fuck is the saying? Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> there we go. Slow and steady was... wins the race in terms of identity shifts and in terms of achieving whatever it is you want to achieve. In this video, we talked about becoming the fit person when you are the fat person. And that is, I suppose, probably the best example we can give right now is becoming the fit person when you are, when you are already the fat person. It is slow and steady wins the race because... Yes, you will go through, as I've already said, you'll go through the fucking phases of ketogenic diets and shit like that and you'll, you'll lose a load. The quick fixes. The quick fixes and solutions. But you know they just feel like shit. They feel, first of all, they feel like shit and second of all, they don't last. So mm. that's the whole point of an identity shift. Identity shift is the slower you go, probably the better yeah now obviously and it feels good and it to feels be a good fit person it feels good to be it a fit person it feels good to yeah. be a fit person mm -hmm. that's kind of like the main thing yeah that's your so like then your actions that make you feel terrible mm -hmm. it won't it won't work yeah they won't like, you won't feel inspired by them you'll feel yeah unmotivated yeah, or yeah. demotivated or whatever that word is yeah yeah by like do, by setting up the expectation of doing this ketogenic diet for mm. a month. Like, good luck if you've never done that before. Yeah, good yeah, luck. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That is tough. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of like, we've covered essentially the first step of an identity shift. Uh, probably the first and the second, really. This like delusional okay. baseline and also like inspired action as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So that is, they were the two first steps of an identity shift yeah so the third step is building up the consistency of doing those first two steps yes and it's about i suppose not to jump up not, not to jump ahead of the third step which is consistency but the fourth step then is progressive overload and like that's in terms of everything it's not just like progressive overload as in lift more weight every week or whatever but anyways to talk about the third step which is consistency this is, I feel like, the stage where you are, it makes or breaks you. And this is the stage where you will really start to realize that, like, okay, the more time I put in doing the inspired actions, as in going to the gym, doing more workouts, doing eating healthier food, being less sedentary, the more consistent I am with that, the more I am reinforcing the mm. fact that I am now a fit person. Mm -hmm. And you like that has to be a constant throughout the whole process is you reiterate and you reinforce the fact yeah. that you are a fit person, mm -hmm. even when you're still fat. Yeah, That's yeah. the thing about it's it. It's true, yeah, it, yeah. That, like, even when you're sitting on the couch watching Netflix for three hours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You still have to reinforce that because without that reinforcement, you will just retire to the path of least resistance, which yes. which is yeah. the fatness, yeah. because it's so much easier Another to be fat thing than is fit. You could, you could also, if you're really struggling with it, you could kind of make going to the gym or whatever the healthy habit is that mm. you're trying to instill, try to like fuse that with the past, the path of least resistance. Yes. So like if you are going to the gym, like, I don't know, ha have that your time where your fate, that's where you can play your favorite music. Or yeah, have like yeah, some yeah, kind yeah. of rule that like, Kind of tricks your brain into enjoying it yeah, yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah. kind of like when you go to the gym and you've done a massive workout but you kind of do the workout so that you can tell yourself 
after when you eat like terrible food like oh yeah this will go straight to my muscles or something mm, like this yeah, will yeah, yeah. or you eat terrible food and you're like this will fuel me for the workout yeah, yeah, yeah. do you kind of get what I'm saying I do I, I get exactly what you no you do but... that was good like make the path of least resistance aligned with what the action you want to be taking is yes yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and like yeah. kind of it's it, like I'll be honest most of this process is tricking your brain yeah like yeah. most of it is genuinely like conditioning and brainwashing yourself into becoming a fitter and less fat person yeah so like let, let, let's let's make it clear that we're not saying that this is some like scientific like we have we have studies and research to prove this like this is just what we've experienced yeah, and like so like, this is real like, this is real life actually like so, i like, really want to be fit and healthy but i'm just so not that yeah so it's like you can drop comments below saying like well actually i know the number one productivity hack in order to be able to go to the gym four times a day like drop those comments for sure but also like understand that this is really what we went through this is really yeah, yeah. our life that we have gone through in order to go from being like unhealthy and fat to yeah. how we are today so yeah take take it or leave it essentially but um getting back to the point of consistency is like <clears throat> you need to make it a routine and a habit and if you can f figure out ways as Trust has said figure out ways where the path of least resistance is the paths and like the actions that you want to take. So as you said, like make the gym be the place where you listen to your favorite music or make make it like if you are going to have like a fucking fat Chinese takeaway, make that something that is like, OK, I've had this takeaway, so therefore I must go to the gym because I have such good fuel in my body, even though that's not true. And even though I'm not recommending having takeaways and eating unhealthy food please be very very aware of the fact that that is not what i'm recommending but if you are to do it like make it so that your goals are aligned with your actions and your actions are aligned with your goals and build up the consistency of that like consistently take action mm -hmm. that aligns with your goal mm -hmm. i suppose it, like and the, i guess like the main thing to remember is once you do something for like two weeks in a row you're just going to want to do it anyways mm. like and just keeping that faith i guess yeah like yeah, yeah. knowing that okay in two weeks this is just going to feel normal to yeah me. it's like getting in the car and going to the gym on a monday wednesday and friday or whatever that's so true like just having that in your head when you start like that can be kind of helpful mm. like having that like anchor i guess like okay this is going to feel normal to me mm. in okay. two weeks <laughs> Yeah, no, that no, completely makes sense because it is you like you see so many people who quit after a week because they're like, haven't seen results, don't feel good while I'm doing it, fuck mm -hmm. this, I'm out. Yeah. But if you can do it for like two weeks, a month, even like you you won't feel any difference, you won't look see any difference, but like know that it aligns like that action you're taking of yeah. being consistently going to the gym and consistently eating healthy that aligns with what your goal yes. is, which is to become yeah. fit and attractive yeah. and, and be in good shape. And that's better than like 95% of people out there. Yeah. You can just do that, like, yeah, that's, you're that's, already winning. You're already winning, that's a fact, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, so that essentially covers the topic of consistency, is just making sure that you instill it in your routine that is a lot like your routine has to be aligned with your goal and to reiterate the first two steps like the first one is the delusion the kind of like delusional belief that you are a fit person even though you're still fat and therefore once you start once you actually start believing your own delusion you will there therefore take inspired action as in like you will start swapping out uh a fucking home or what do you call it a, a ready-made meal for maybe a salad or maybe mm. healthy healthy food that yeah, you cooked like in the thing yeah or a protein bar instead of a chocolate bar yeah yeah even yeah, that yeah. is better even that is yeah. better for sure and um, now that's like don't don't the biggest pitfall there is like you'll start to cope and you'll be like well 
I did have three chocolate bars today, but they were all protein <laughs> bars, so it's fine. It's like, yeah, but like, be be realistic, and that's where when it when it comes in, where you have to. That kind of comes later on. It kind of comes later on, but it's yeah. also like the earlier you get that, the Obviously better. The better. Yeah, like if you can look at yourself in the mirror, and I think I already said that in this video, like look at yourself in the mirror and be like, I am a fat fuck, but I am on the pro. I am in the process of becoming mm -hmm. a fit fuck. Mm -hmm. Because most people can't even like look at themselves and say yeah. like, okay, this needs to change. With an objective, like you have to keep a degree of objectivity as in like, don't be so self-hating that you're like, you're a fat fuck, you're not worth anything, you will never get a girl, all that kind of shit. Like, don't be so, like grant yourself the compassion of being like, yes, you are a fat fuck, but you also have it in you. <laughs> to get to be a fit fuck like do you know what i mean yeah, does that make sense yes, yes. have i made sense there yeah, i think yeah, i have yeah. okay because otherwise if you really are like completely berating yourself like that mm. you will never get anywhere yeah exactly so there does have to be a, like because like, you're really stuck then yeah you know? there does have yeah. to be a degree of self-compassion as yeah, well yeah. where it's like you are slowly getting better and slow and steady wins the race so that covers the second step which was taking inspired action and then the third step is consistency and that's consistency, like taking the inspired action. So you have to be like, once you start, once you've started to figure out, okay, this is what I do on a daily basis. Like I go to the gym and I, I eat one healthy meal or two healthy meals or whatever it is. You have to start like nailing that routine and like really making that your identity. Like you have to have the identity that you're like, I am the kind of person Mm -hmm. who eats healthy food i am the kind of person yeah. who has a caesar salad and say it for to my yourself lunch. the whole say time it to yourself. Just, say it to, just completely brainwash yourself you do not understand the impact that repetition has on human Everything. brains that's how we learn it's, it's literally fucking how we learn. bonkers bro i work in a retail store and they play the same like five songs <laughs> on repeat I swear to God, I know every single lyric of every single one of those songs. And they're not songs that like are popular. They're like, the you know, whole. like right, the no rights, the songs are, they're yeah, like yeah. Br brand music or whatever like that. So like, I'm not listening to that anywhere outside of work. It's not, a, it's not a case like I really like the song and I'm learning it. It's just the sheer fucking repetition of hearing those lyrics. So make your inspired actions be lyrics that you learn as in like you have to repeat and rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat the same process now obviously don't take it to the extreme where it's like okay you've become a master at eating a caesar salad but you're also you've gotten too skinny like there is there's levels to this shit like you have to realize you have to have the kind of realization that like yeah you don't want to just get emaciated and be so skinny like you also probably want to be strong and have muscle as well so and i suppose that's probably a topic for another video um which maybe we'll talk about someday we'll see and um, but yeah that is the third step right which mm -hmm. is consistency so that is the third step which is consistency and the final step that we're going to speak about today is progressive overload and not just in terms of each week you put on 2.5 kg dumb or plate on your bench press it's not just about that it is about that but it's not just about that it's about all the habits that a fit person with a fit person's identity would take mm -hmm. so what do you think that would incorporate as in what are the the what are the areas in which you must progressively overload in order to maintain the identity of a fit person that you have been building? So where where would you recommend building that? It's all in the details. So what? So you need to get your details down. Yes. Yes. And you need to always be refining all what you're already doing mm -hmm. into like what's next what's better yeah that's the that's the key yeah. question is what can you do next yeah. to how can i make this better improve yeah 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 how can i how can i go from being someone who has pretty nice shoulders to having fucking mushroom caps it's like it's that kind <laughs> of thing or how can i be like how can i be the person who what can i do in order to go from the person who has yes a caesar salad every day which is 
good and healthy but like if that's not progressing you anymore as in like you're eating the caesar mm. salad realistically to lose weight because you can eat a lot of it for and it's like low calories high um density but like what's next what is mm. the next thing that you can do what is the next habit that you can build what is the next food that you can eat and, and like incorporate into your you're diet because otherwise you're just going to stay the same because otherwise you're just going to stay the same if nothing changes nothing changes if nothing changes nothing changes and whatever is not growing is dying yes that is the truth of it and i've, I've said that in a few videos now and it's, it, it does ring very true mm -hmm. because like if you think about it from the point of view where you've gotten to the point now where you are a fit person but and it's become it it has become your path of least resistance right now but unless you have something to aspire to grow to and something where you're like it's slightly out of your reach but you're making progress towards it that's when you lose motivation and you lose inspiration is when you're not reaching for something that is just slightly outside your grasp so you need to start asking yourself questions in this phase really although we've said it's about progressive overload and it is what you really need to start doing is asking questions of yourself yeah. and figuring out, okay, how can this be 1% better? How can this be 1% yeah. better? Or how can this be X percent better? Yeah. 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 And that's what, that's what we mean when we say progressive overload. Like it's not about, it's not solely about, as I already said, just going up in the waist that you bench in the gym. It's also about like, okay, well, I'm working a job right now and it's paying me $400 a month. How can I start figuring out how to get $500 a month? Like it, it, it translate, it almost translates into other aspects of your life. Even mm. though we're, we've been just talking about, um, like how to have an identity shift from being fat to being fit. But it also like a part of that journey is realizing like, okay, well, how do I improve the business side of my life how do i improve my relationships how do i improve mm. my friendships how do i improve my yeah. charisma all that kind it of thing spill over. it spills over yeah, that's the yeah. beautiful thing about it is like and how you do one thing is how you do everything oh you're singing out the same <laughs> the same hymn sheet as me now how you do one thing bro is how you do fucking everything if you're not aiming to be the best at what you're doing it's like yeah yeah why bother yeah what, how would you feel motivated to be like okay well i guess i'm the hundred thousand and seventeenth best in the world like it's like well like if you're not gonna aspire to be more than that and to be better than that why why do it in the first place surely you have like i personally i don't know about you but i personally have a desire to be the number one irish self-improvement youtuber on the fucking planet and like that's just uh, maybe that's just me maybe i'm just overly competitive maybe i'm just like narcissistic or whatever but uh yeah all of the above all of the above thank you but um <laughs> yeah so you have to start asking yourself the questions of like okay figure out do you want to become better because maybe you don't maybe you just maybe you're just like the type of person who's happy with being in a maintenance phase all the time but yeah. i don't think i i think that is actually a recipe for disaster because eventually you just you get stagnant and you get like do you know what i mean does that yeah, make sense yeah, yeah. you kind of end up being like well i've gotten what i think i want so like what's next what's what's next or is there a next for me but there should always be a next for you there should always be something that you're aspiring to achieve yes you should be proud and you should be happy with what you have for sure like you should be proud of the journey you've been on but also if you don't maintain a degree of wanting to improve and get better and reach the next thing then it's like you're just going to end up uninspired mm. and unmotivated mm -hmm. would you agree yeah 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 i think so i think so i think so yeah good okay sweet um <laughs> so yeah we might wrap it up there. Okay. I suppose. Yeah, How does that? Funny. I feel like we've covered yeah, that very yeah. well. Like the the topic of this video was the identity shift that you need to go from being the fat fucker to the fit guy or the fit girl. <laughs> uh, like that is uh, everyone. If if you're honest with yourself and if you're not self hating, you will admit that that is the truth. That's what you want for yourself. And like us, having gotten to that place where we're both quite 
in decent shape. We have now realized that, yes, this is exactly what, yeah, what I wanted. But also, I'm like, I have a long way to go. And see, that's My the... My God. That is the perfect mindset, though. Mm. Because it's like, you're still striving. You're yeah, still striving yeah. to get better. So therefore, you're on the right path. Yeah. You yeah. are nailing your progressive overload. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, I have to keep going. Mm. We all have to keep There's no going. no other way. We've all got to keep grinding. <laughs> mm. But yeah. I suppose we better leave it there because okay. that seems to be long, everything that we have got for today. So until next time, bro.